afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got guys couldn't get out of here today without doing a Class C motorhome. Very, very nice one. I'm actually kind of really digging this floor plan. It's the first one I reviewed uh, uh, like this, and uh, I think you'll like it too. For those of you who are wanting a uh, a simple motorhome that's not too small but not too large, I think this is an excellent. Uh, excellent medium-sized compromise right here this is a 2019 winnebago outlook uh this is a 25j there's no slide on this model i actually kind of like it i really do guys in fact um i was just thinking to myself when i was going through it i i may when i get ready to upgrade my motor home i may start taking a lot harder look at the outlook i like the way it's built i like the amenities and for the for what it is you know if this is the kind of rv you're into like i am i sometimes there's superiority and simplicity um this is a 19 outlook it's only got 7100 miles on it it's about to turn 100 hours on the generator i got the motor running generator running uh it's built on a 4d 350 chassis 6.8 triton v10 same thing i got in mine cab over looks great no windows in it. it's got a full-size bed in the cab over You've got a, a very good size power awning on the side here with LED light strip. And uh, it's white, there's no full body paint, no HD Max, you gotta worry about fading. Just a very, this is a great motor home for somebody just wanting a first time motor home that doesn't want something really complicated just to get their feet wet and uh it's a great size it's 26 feet one inches long see the back looks great it's got a backup camera it's a winnebago so you got their crowned one piece fiberglass roof 5,000 pound tow capacity on the hitch you know this is one of those that like i said just so easy to use 4k w on end generator powering everything up inside uh roof air is ice cold dash air is cold tires are original just a couple of years old 7100 miles no check engine lights no worry lights anything like that got that good looking forward front end grill always locked perfect size for literally anything i mean state parks older campgrounds no problems boondocking no problem um, 26 feet long and it's got a lot of neat layouts on the inside that I'll show you here and like I said it's not the fanciest motor home they build it's more of an entry level so you don't have leather furniture you don't have Corian countertops but who really needs all that stuff guys it's a Winnebago I mean they built 80% of the parts on this motor home it's got a fiberglass roof they build their own frame, own metal frame in house. So it everything, the fit and finish is superb on a Winnebago product versus most other brands. Uh, seats look great. I mean, the front area looks great. Plastics look great. Touch screen, Bluetooth stereo, ice cold dash air that will actually keep the majority of this motor home pretty cool going down the road without running the generator and roof air. 7,171.2 miles, no check engine lights all kinds of power and this is what i like about a no slide unit guys this is what it's going to look like when you're dry, when you're traveling when you're parked uh there's no it's never going to change from this you don't have to worry about moving stuff out of the way to bring your slide out in or out you don't have to worry about you know maintaining your slide out seals and and keeping them uh from drying out and replacing them every few years like i said just a very easy and simple motor home to own to maintain and use um, i love the windows in here guys see i'm i'm the type that as soon as i'm up in the morning and dressed i don't leave my blinds closed all day long i open up my blinds i like to see the outdoors and uh, i know a lot of people aren't like that hey i get it everybody's got their own version of rving it doesn't have you know what i do is not may not be what you do 
I mean, and they're, I'm not right, you're not. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm right, you're right, everybody's right with their own version of RVing because that's what they enjoy doing and that's what matters. But I like to let the outside in because I don't spend a lot of time in an RV. And um, that big window is really awesome, especially at the dinette booth. You do have a sleeper sofa, full-size bed in the cab over. You got a television, about a 32 inch. Uh, got the ladder that's your mattress insert to make this a full-size bed got some overhead storage which i know what they did they did away with the overhead storage here to make room for a bigger window so that you know to me i kind of like that because i don't you know i don't plan on buying one like this to live in anyway but double basin sink you got a three burner stove top it's got a microwave uh, this unit does have, which I like this too, all electric refrigerator, and it does have a built-in inverter so you can power this when you're driving down the road without running your generator if you don't want to. 99.7 hours, about to bust 100. Magnum inverter, so it's not just one of those little cheap ones, that's an actual an RV inverter. It's already at operating temp in under 45 minutes. Now, you couldn't ever dream of doing that with an RV refrigerator. Uh, backsplash looks great and this is cool too guys you know most of the time in smaller 25 26 foot motor homes um, you only get two of your three main components and what do I mean by that well you've got three main furniture components in an RV you've got a stationary bed a table booth and then a sleeper sofa traditionally in this size motor home in the floor plans you get two of the three you either get a stationary bed, a sofa, or a table booth, or if there's not a stationary bed, you'll have a sleeper sofa and a table booth to make a bed, or beds. But very rarely do you get under a 28-foot motorhome that has all three of them in it with no slide. And um, I thought that was kind of cool. So you can sleep a couple right here on the bed, kids, it's not a very long couch. Uh, booth will sleep a couple people, you can sleep a couple of your bigger adults up top and then two more in the back. So six to eight people can sleep in this motorhome if you want to carry that many people in a 26-foot motorhome. Um, got a closet right here. This is a full-size stationary bed. A little privacy wall. Place for a TV up in the corner if you want to add one to it. Lots of lighting in here. That's just a grab handle. I was wondering what in the world that was. Rear corner bathroom, and it is frigid cold in here from that vent being on with this uh, door closed. And you've got a stand-up shower with a skylight. It's got the seven-foot tall ceiling height. And you got a decent-sized little vanity area, at least decent for a 26-foot motorhome. Venison cabinet, you've got your RV toilet. Um, pretty good spot. You know, if it was me, I always upgrade toilets. Um, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, that, that'll do you fine for a long time. But, you know, if I was going to really use this thing a lot, I'd probably upgrade that toilet to a, to a porcelain toilet or a enamel toilet, whatever you want to call it. I mean, just very easy to use. I mean... And I know not everybody, you know, and I grew up and I've owned RVs for years, guys, and I've owned, most of mine have had slide outs, but my current Class C is a 25-footer with no slide, and I love it. I mean, I didn't think I would, but I love it because you don't have to rearrange everything. You don't have to worry about slide outs. You don't have to go around that slide out wall that comes in with the slide out and have to mess with it. Your seat goes back further, your driver's seat goes back further because there's no slide out wall behind it. You have to maneuver around. So there's a lot of benefits to not having a slide. Of course, there, you know, there's benefits to having a slide too. Primarily, you get a lot more living space and room, but it just depends on what you're looking for as an RVer. And like I said, there's no right or wrong way to RV. Everybody's got their own version of RVing and it could be campgrounds, it could be a little motor home, a pop-up, big motor home if it suits you then it's right for you then it's still RVing it doesn't matter how you do it or where you do it 
you know you're getting out there you're enjoying RVing and that's what matters and you enjoy it so you know, this right here guys is a little motor home like this could have a lot of uses um, perfect for traveling for a couple or a small family weekend trips cross-country trips you name it you can probably do it um, again you, you're a lot more open to where you can stay at with this size motor home versus like the one I used to have a 38 foot Winnebago which I really enjoyed but this is a motor home but you can find a lot more places to stay at um, than a big 38 foot class A so and I know you're going to give up a lot of room a lot of space but again sometimes simplicity is superior uh, you know depends on what your expectations are but anyway guys the nada on this thing is like 71 thousand and change if you want i'm not gonna flash it up but if you want to look it up and not adding for any options just for the miles 71 thousand and change i've got it for 64.9 we still do which i mean everything pretty much works on it i mean we'll do a, a we do we'll do our basic inspection which is how we keep our prices down uh, which includes we'll make sure the refrigerator freezer gets to operating temp which it already it's almost there now uh, we guarantee the roof air to works which it does i've got it running right now drives good we guarantee it to drive like it's supposed to we uh, doesn't have a step so you don't have to worry about steps we guarantee the water system so we'll put water in it that also includes your water heater it's got a little dsi gas water heater you just push a button lights itself it's not gas electric, which that's what I run mine on 99.9% .9 of the time anyway, is uh, electric, I mean uh, propane anyway, it's more efficient. Um, we guarantee your water pump, that, you know, anything that has to do with your water system, we, we guarantee it to work. And um, generator, which it obviously runs and puts out, it's got 99, almost 100 hours on it. So it's ready to go i mean as far as what we inspect besides checking the water systems and which we'll do that uh of course when you buy it i mean we can probably check it out for you the same day and you take it home if you pay for it with verified funds and get in early enough um but yeah guys uh nice motor home i mean it's gonna save you tens of thousands off a brand new one it's it's i love this floor plan for a smaller medium smaller class c um yeah like i said I, I'm, I'm when i get to where i can take more time off i'll buy a something later model i think i'm going to look at these outlooks i just i like the simplicity of it and the construction and i think that goes a long way thank you all for watching guys appreciate it um if you're interested in this outlook for 64.9 which is by the way a haggle free firm price got 7100 miles i mean the only way you're gonna buy one nicer is go buy a new one and spend 85 grand if you can even get one but um thank you so much for watching appreciate it and uh come out and visit with us guys got a great selection of class c's as most of y'all already know have been watching my channel for the last couple of weeks i got a lot of class c's in of course springtime is travel trailer in class c season so we're trying to keep keep them stocked up we are selling a lot of them a lot of them i posted in the last two or three weeks have already been sold most of them been picked up going to their new home so um always watch the video title and i'll put sold on it as it sells um if you if it doesn't say sold on it go at first step you need to do is go to my website be a link in the video description below or just go to parkwayrbcenter.com and if the unit's on the website and it says sales pending that means it's available but it has a deposit so we have to hold it until the person that left the deposit either buys it or their time expires or they back out for whatever reason doesn't happen very often but about one out of every 10 deposits falls through for various reasons and that's why it always pays if you see one you like and it says sell spending to still call and talk to one of our salespeople. tell them you're looking for this or what you're looking for and they can write your name and number down and if that deal falls through they'll call you next um we're very very strong about deposits guys because we don't take anything off the market until money is paid on it we don't 
can take promises to the bank. Um, but at the same time, we don't want to take something off the market until it's 100% a sure deal. Like, you know you want it. There's no delay in getting your money. In fact, if you're financing an RV, guys, let me tell you a little secret. And this actually protects y'all because it makes it fair for everybody wanting to buy a unit. If if they're getting, we, we will not take a deposit until we have an approval for financing because there's no sense taking it off the market that somebody can't get approved for financing or can't prove their income or can't come up with a down payment. So we're not going to take a deposit until all of that is approved. And that's really safe because for y'all, because that way you know if there's a deposit on it, the chances are it's a done deal. Like I said, about one out of 10, one out of 15 doesn't close for whatever reason, but you know, with our pricing, the fact that we charge no fees, it's a no-brainer. I mean, people travel from all over the United States to look here and buy here. Uh, this unit is 64.9, haggle-free firm. Doesn't matter how far you come or how much or how you pay for it, cash, trade, finance, or a combination. 64.9 uh, plus applicable sales tax. If you are a Georgia resident, there is, like most of y'all know from Georgia. A hundred dollar highway impact fee, forty to fifty dollar tag and title fee. But thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, trying to get three on today, uh, so this is finishing it off. But uh, it's a nice one to finish it off with. <laughs> I like it. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, share on social media. Hit that subscribe button. RV's a big boat, and. Um, if you're on Facebook, go to my Facebook page, smash it a like, uh, RV's a big boat. Now, I don't really use Facebook for much, but it is a way for my uh, viewers to contact me. Uh, you can send me a message through Facebook. I'm not in sales, so I can't s technically sell you anything, but I don't mind giving you advice, giving you information um, that I can. You know, if you want information, nitty gritty, additional pictures, trade-in appraisal stuff like that you'll have to call to one of my salespeople, call and talk to one of them but i don't care answering general rv questions i've been doing this for 25 years i've been an rv owner for longer than that i love these i i pretty much eat breathe and live these rvs so um you know i've lived in an rv before i've owned ever pretty much any kind you think of uh own more than one and i own more than one now um <laughs> So I mean I'm not um, I'm not a stranger to it by no means, and I don't mind giving you advice, and that kind of makes me unique among everybody else on Facebook, or at least most everybody else is. You know I got 25 plus years experience doing this. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Parkway RV Center, give us a call 706-965-7929. Family owned and operated since 1968. That's a long time, guys. We're not a corporate dealer. We don't play the corporate game. We don't add the corporate fees. We don't have the corporate dealer markup. You go to a corporate dealer, this thing motorhome's another 10, 15 grand by the time they add all the fees that we don't charge. Dock fees, prep fees, processing fees, uh, the, you know, happy camper fees, and, uh, you know, whatever kind of fees they want to come up with they're all 100 percent dealer profit we don't have upsells we don't try to sell you an extended warranty that's marked up four times dealer cost or gap insurance marked four times dealer cost and not worth the paper it's written on guys or tire and wheel packages and roadside assistance buy that stuff yourself after the sale you go to a dealership it's four times the cost because they're marking it up four times and that's how you go in and buy a sixty-five thousand dollar motorhome and owe eighty-five to ninety grand the next day. Say no to upsells. Pay as much money down as you can. Pay attention. Don't pay attention to the payment. Pay attention to the amount you finance. That's how you get ahead when you're buying an RV. When these dealers start trying to sell you on payment, tell you, oh, you're, you know, instead of telling you how much money you're financing, telling you, oh, your payment's only X amount a month. You want to add a warranty and gap insurance? It's only. 22 more dollars a month or 18 more dollars for this and that or vacation packages or whatever else they try to sell you it's all marked up four times dealer cost they, they tell you the payment not the amount is adding to your loan 
always pay attention to the amount financed. Keep it as low as possible. You pay more, pay more money down than you have to, guys, if you can. You'll get it back in the end because when you sell it or trade it one day, that's less you have to pay off. You're going to get the majority, if not all, of that down payment back because you're going to owe less when you get rid of it. Or you'll get a lower payment and, and possibly pay it off quicker. So a lot of ways of looking at it, guys. And um, thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate it. If you need delivery, we offer it for $1.50 a loaded mile uh, one way, and we do take trade-ins. Thank you again for watching, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.